American bittern right here. Hey! Okay, we're gonna turn. Oh my goodness. In some ways, this is a, a better look than we've ever had. Just because of the lighting. there's any doubt as to whether this bird, an American bittern, which is in the heron family, can move its eye, well, no doubts any longer. We saw it just now moving its eyeball. Absolutely beautiful bird. In a way, I kind of wish I were actually on the other camera, but What a nice, beautiful view. We're, we are lucky to be here now when it's out in, in view like this. Gorgeous bird. Love seeing them. You can see though, they blend in pretty well with their, with their surroundings. Now, I have to admit, I was looking for it. Now, I always look in this area for them, but, you know, having heard, you know, in recent days that they were around, that this one was around, uh, you know, I'm, I was that much more on the lookout for it. So that helps. Otherwise, I might have driven right by. I'm darkening it just a little bit. I'm glad to see you, but maybe it's time for you to head south. Absolutely wonderful. It's, we're going to lose sight of it if it continues on like this, but absolutely wonderful to see it. I'm thrilled. Look how that blends in. I mean, you know, and you, you know where it is. And look how hard it is to see.
can't see any more of it than that. Okay. Let's stay with the top of it. His head. Isn't that a beautiful bird? Really. Uh, with the naked eye, oh, I can barely see it with the naked eye, and only because I know where it is. With the naked eye, I can, I, otherwise I would easily miss that. I'd have a hard time finding it if I didn't know where it is now, even knowing that it's, you know, in that, in that area. You know, even though I'm looking in the right area, uh, I would have a hard time finding it with the naked eye, but, you know, I've got the camera on it now, so we're able to see it. We won't stay with it forever. Now, in the spring, we saw one that was hunting and successfully catching fish. But this is still a nice surprise here on November 2nd, you know? So we're at, you know, we're in the, looking at a, an American bittern, and we're in the Bennings Marsh area. real treat to see. Can't see much of it now, but we'll, we'll stay with it a few more moments and then we're going to move on. Likely won't see another American bittern, you know, this season. We have a hard enough time seeing them at all, even in, even in the normal season. lighting is actually pretty nice not maybe not perfect almost a little too bright but you know because it's it's not backlit for a change this is just wonderful and uh, even though it's sunny it's close enough we don't have you know we don't have a lot of issues with heat shimmer so hey doesn't get too much better I think When we zoom in, yeah, I mean, then you, you can see a little bit of the of the heat shimmer issues, but get a good look at its eye. The car going by, they might wonder, what, geez, what could he possibly be looking at? But you know, the bittern is difficult to see, and it, you know, it could be that. It's almost impossible to see for others just because we're in the right spot and we might be blocking any line of sight someone else might have. Just saw a red-winged blackbird. And I know we've seen them before, but you know, we don't see them every day, certainly, even in season, so I'm glad to spend some time looking at this one. So, uh, again, we're looking at an American bittern. I just checked the chat room. Uh, the American bittern, I believe, is a little larger than a green heron. Obviously very similar, though. Um, you know, they're in the heron family and, uh, you know, smaller than great blue herons. We haven't seen a great blue heron yet today. At least I haven't. Today's been an interesting day here at, at, on Wildlife Drive. I mean, between, you know, we've had some nice looks at at uh, you know uh, northern pintails, uh, we've seen um, we saw the sandhill cranes, this American bittern is icing on the cake. We won't look for too much longer, but we're going to move on pretty soon. Just beautiful. Absolutely love them. 
Now, see, I, you know, I don't normally do the e-bird alerts, but this would be considered a rare bird sighting just because of the time of year. I know it was seen last Saturday. I imagine it's the same one. I hope it's okay. And it, you know, I'm, it may be fine. It's just maybe hanging around. Again, I don't see American bitterns every day, so I'm happy to see this one. Especially in this lighting, which is, you know, for me, particularly good. Uh, maybe the best lighting under which I've seen one. cars coming by and, and again you know if you're just w driving by very difficult to see right now and maybe in, maybe even impossible but um, we were lucky that it was in view and I caught sight of it a few more minutes moments minutes I don't know Now, if the least bittern were to show up, I'd record it. Of course, it hasn't been noted in, in weeks, I would, but I would record it and then uh, probably need to buy a... Uh, I'd be shocked to see it. Okay, we're going to move along, I think. It's, uh, you know, getting a little bit more difficult to see. Um, although I can still see it with the naked eye, only because I know where to look. I'll try to zoom in once or twice more, and then uh, I think it's time to move along. doesn't seem to be actively hunting, it's just resting. I don't know if it's actually really looking up or if, I mean, they often, I think they do that. I think just it helps to hide them. It doesn't seem to be actively hunting by any means. What a treat to see. A little bit more of the heat shimmer right now. By the way, if you're wondering, is it seeing something up in the air? I, I don't see anything up in the air that it might be looking at, although I may be looking in the wrong areas. All right, we're going to move along. Good to see it. Love it. 